It was such a slap in the face, but it was exactly the slap in the face that I needed. Like, why do my legs look so good? I kind of feel a lot of feelings. <laughs> Good morning friends and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday morning, it's 9am and I'm about to head out the door, I head to the gym and I just wanted to quickly say good morning, start this vlog. I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because my neck and face are completely different colours but I also don't care enough to do anything about it. So here we are. If you watched my last weekly vlog, I went to Melbourne last week and I flew in last night so I kind of feel a lot of feelings. <laughs> I cried for hours at the airport yesterday so I feel like I've woken up and my eyes are really puffy and sore, my face feels really puffy but I slept in this morning I didn't set an alarm and I naturally woke up at 7 which I feel like it's pretty good I woke up I unpacked my suitcase I'm so proud of myself I have a load of washing on right now like mm, yes go me I just got up I got dressed for the gym I'll show you my outfit in a second I just made some pre and I'm about to head out the door and go to the gym with Grace I don't know what we're training my schedule is kind of all over the place now that the eight-week challenge is over I will be talking about that a little bit more later on as well because I feel like I have a lot to say about that I just feel really great today I don't know what's going on I feel really great I'm happy to be home happy to be in my house in my routine and I'm just excited to get back into like eating well, training well and because I have new macros and a new training phase, I'm very excited about it but anyway, we'll talk more about that later. I'll show you the fit. This is the fit. I'm wearing the new Flex Colors that are launching this Thursday. By the time you see this vlog, they'll already be live but look at this yellow. Are you kidding? So cute. I also have this big Gymshark crew neck on this. I don't know when it's launching. I'm really sorry. I will tell you when it is though because it's literally the comfiest thing I own. I feel like I was never really the biggest fan of the old Flex collection and then I got this flex collection and I don't know what they did but it is so comfy and I think I'm a flex fan like it's so stretchy so comfortable I feel like it just makes you look so good like why do my legs look so good how does it do that I'm confused <laughs> not mad I'm a big fan but I have some pre I'm gonna go train I'm also filming a little reel this morning so I'm gonna get some gym content for my vlog and my reel it's a great time all around I'm feeling so great this morning Whoa, let's go to the gym. <laughs> p.m. and I just got home from grocery shopping. I've had a very productive Monday so far. Went to the gym. We had a big killer session. I think we were there for like an hour and a half and I burnt like 900 active cows. It was ridiculous. It was leg day. It was so good and I hadn't seen Grace in like a week and a half so it was very good to see her as well. Came home. I showered. I did a couple of emails that I had to do. All of the things that were like in my head while I was away over the weekend I kind of just like wrote down this morning so that they're kind of out of my head and I know that I need to focus on them later. But then I got dressed. I did a load of washing. I have another load to hang out ready now but while my washing was on I went to Woolies and did a grocery shop. I don't really know what I'm eating this week. <laughs> I haven't sat down and planned out my food for today or for the week. Again I would talk about my eight week challenge in a little bit but my calories have changed. I get more cows, I get more carbs. I'm so excited about it so I kind of just bought a bunch of random stuff. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to do another little grocery shop in the next couple of days just to get random things but for now this is the bulk of my groceries so I'll give you a quick little haul. I got heaps of bananas. 
because I have at least one banana a day. I got a bag of spud light potatoes because I want to try have nachos. So I also got some beef mints. My fats have also increased the tiniest bit, so hopefully I can fit this in well. I got a huge thing of chicken breast. I got two loaves of bread because this bread is so hard to find. And I was like, I just need to buy two because I can't go without it because I'm obsessed. So this is the country split bread just in white. But listen to these macros. So two slices of this bread is 122 cows, four grams of protein, 1.3 grams of fat, and 21.4 grams of carbs. So good. I got some milk. I got a four pack of monsters. Firstly, they're on sale. Secondly, I'm obsessed with these. It's kind of ridiculous. I got some eggs and I also got some egg whites. I got a Powerade for my soccer game this Saturday. I got some more butter because I ran out. I got an avocado, a punnet of strawberries, a bag of iceberg lettuce, and I also got some Milo. <laughs> a couple of girls I follow on Instagram have been raving about this, so I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and give it a go. I'm probably just going to save this for Saturdays when I get extra carbs before and after soccer, but I'm excited about it. I love cereal. like really love cereal, so I'm excited about this. But that is everything that I picked up. It's also 2pm and I've only had a little bit of toast and a protein smoothie today which is weird I got in the car went grocery shopping I pulled up and I was like oh my gosh it's almost 2 p.m. I'm hungry and I didn't know I was hungry right until that moment so I'm gonna pack this all away but also like prep and make lunch and then I think I'm gonna sit down and get a bunch of computer work done this afternoon that's the plan I'm literally filming this clip like 10 minutes later I'm just packing away my groceries and I forgot to tell you one more thing that I bought and I feel like I couldn't just lie to you and pretend I didn't buy this ice cream I got this Peter's light and creamy choc caramel vanilla swirl ice cream I'm so stinking excited Excited. 47 grams has 74 cows and only 13 grams of carbs 1.6 grams of protein and 1.3 grams of fat I'm so excited one of my friends Nat told me to jump on this because it's five dollars for a tub of this whereas like Tilly's and like healthier ice cream they're just so expensive for like a small tub so she told me to get on this save a bit of money still hit your macros I'm gonna taste test oh my gosh this is dangerous. Look at it. That's stunning. I actually could eat half this tub right now. It just tastes like normal ice cream. I froth that. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. Anyway, I just had to tell you. I'm going to make lunch now. the sun setting so early it's like pitch black and it's 5 30 p.m it's a bit odd but i just finished up my work for the day i think my eyes are really sore probably because i haven't been wearing my glasses but it's fine but i had a package sitting at home for me it came when i was in melbourne and i was just waiting for the right time to open it because i'm so excited firstly i've been an emotional mess the last 24 hours i miss my friends a lot not doing well and i know that this is just not going to help me at all and i know that there's a letter inside and it's going to make me sad <laughs> If you're a bit confused, one of my closest friends, Sophie Jane Miller, just created her own brand called Decision Made. Literally insane. My friend owns a brand and she released her first product last week. One day or day one, you decide. Know that I'm here with you every step of the way and I hope that wearing your day one jumper acts as a constant reminder of this. You got this girl. This is your day one. Alex approves. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, this is too much. I am so, so proud of you, so. And you own a freaking business. I'll have decision made linked down below if you want to pick up yourself one of these jumpers. So cute. And also just like keep you up to date with what decision made is doing because, oh, this is really just the beginning. I'm so stoked. So proud of you, so. I'm going to put this on right now. <laughs> Good morning friends, happy Thursday. This week has kind of taken a bit of a turn of events. I haven't picked up my camera for the past two days. Well actually, I think I filmed one vlog clip at the gym yesterday, enjoy. But 
<coughs> that's all I did because I just had absolutely no energy. Honestly, like after the gym, I came home and I sat down to get some work done and I just felt like I'd been hit by a truck. Before the gym and at the gym, I felt totally fine. I've had a sore throat since I went to the Taylor Swift night in Melbourne. That was last Friday, but I literally was in a club screaming for like five hours straight. So like obviously your throat's gonna be sore. And then yesterday, the longer I was just sitting at my desk trying to work, the more and more like my head started to thump and my ears are like blocked and like really achy, like I have an earache. My nose is blocked, but also running at the same time. It really hurts to swallow. So I've come down with a cold. <laughs> which is fantastic. If you don't know much about Australia and COVID, we have honestly have had it pretty easy over here. Everything in pretty much every state is back to normal. We do have just like a couple of random restrictions, but nothing that like stops us from living our life, which I'm just so, so blessed to live here. I went to Melbourne last weekend and Melbourne has previously had huge lockdowns. They had a really tough last year, um, but they're all back to normal as well. Anyway, basically like Australia's way of like dealing with COVID is if there's like one or a few cases, they kind of just like lock everything down really quickly for at least a couple of days and it just like blows over and it doesn't turn into like a huge thing. I literally got a text yesterday from like Queensland government that was like, have you been to Victoria? They have an active case. Check the hotspots to see if you were there. And I wasn't near any of the hotspots, but I'm just like, ah, uh, just like a very weird timing that there's like one COVID case in Melbourne and then I get sick. I had an awful sleep last night and the night before, honestly. I've woken up feeling absolutely awful. I feel like I like have the man flu, like I'm just being a silk and complaining, but like my head really, really hurts. I've had like three breakdowns because I just hate being sick so much. Obviously no one likes being sick. Sorry, in bed this morning, I Googled a bunch of clinics and stuff. A lot of the clinics, you need a GP referral and I don't want to go to my GP. GP get a referral. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to one this morning that doesn't need one. Um, they open at 8.30. It's currently 7.30, I think. So I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have a ripe avocado. So I think I'm gonna have some avocado and toast with some eggs. That just sounds incredible to me. The last thing I wanna do is be like sitting up and like cooking, making breakfast. But I know that I'll thank myself for this later. I am so incredibly blessed that I work for myself and I work from home. And luckily I got all of my work done yesterday. So like technically I don't have that much to do for the rest of the week but uh, I'm still getting a plate because I still feel absolutely awful. And this is one of the times where living alone is so like sad. <laughs> well, not living alone. I live with my brother, but like not living at home or like having someone right by your side who can like care for you because like if I need cold and flu, I'm going out and getting some cold and flu. If I need a new box of tissues, no one's getting that for me. <laughs> it's one of those things that you're like, oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to have some avo toast and I will update you. Also, I'm wearing my day one jumper. Very cute, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I just wanted to ring and double check um, that you guys are doing COVID testing and you don't need to have a booking or anything. Okay, Um. yeah, no, this afternoon should be fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for that one. See you later. Bye. Dang it. Oh. I was like, oh, just before I leave home, I'll ring and double check that the clinic like doesn't need bookings or anything. And they were like, yeah, we don't start testing until 2.30 p.m. And yes, you need a booking. I just got dressed and ready. I'm literally in my car. Like I was about to go. <laughs> Why am I like that? And also, you know how I literally was just saying, like, being sick is one of those times you're like, oh, wow, like, sucks to be single because I don't have anyone, like, to care and look after me. Literally, they were like, who's your emergency contact? My dad. <laughs> Oh man. Guess I'm going back inside and getting back into my pajamas. I put shoes on and everything. <laughs> wow, this camera really points out my red nose, doesn't it? That's really fun. Hello friends, happy Friday. Last night I got my COVID test results back and they came back negative, which is obviously what I expected, but I need to follow the rules. I'm a, I'm a solid rule follower and I could not live with myself if I was just like walking around with a cold, being unsure whether it was COVID or not. It's actually good that my results came back within like seven hours, which is kind of ideal, but I spent all day on the couch yesterday Today, I spent all day in bed today. I literally just got dressed and I went out to Woolies to pick up a couple of things. So here's a sick girl's haul. <laughs> I got orange juice because vitamin C. <laughs> I got Advil, my favorite, and I got Sudafed for my nose. My nose is just 
my main issue at the moment. And then I got two different boxes of tissues. I've been using toilet paper for the last two days because I had no tissues. So I never want to run out ever again because my nose is in immense pain. I got these. They're the Coulton Cooling Lotion. Smoothing comfort with a cooling sensation. Like they feel cold. They're magnificent. I'm obsessed with them. Um, my tissue review you didn't ask for. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen when I posted a story the other day because my Apple Watch just cocked it. I woke up on Sunday morning, took it off charge, put it on my wrist, put my password in, fiddled around, saw like who had already worked out that I shared my activity with. Then I went to the kitchen, I made my breakfast and I checked my watch while I was in the kitchen and the screen was just green. And I was like, well, that is not ideal. And just like kind of weird. Like it just came out of nowhere. Like if I woke up and it was like that, it's still weird, but like it was just weird that it was literally fine one minute and then not the next. Um, and I tried like holding down both the buttons and the screen just looks like TV static when you do that. I bought it from the Apple store like three years ago and I didn't get any warranty or Apple Care or anything on it. So that's that. Honestly, I bought this so long ago. It really served me well. This was a series 342 millimeter. I got questions all the time asking which one I have. It served me well. I really, really loved it. I'll probably keep the band actually in case I need it. I mean, I'll keep the whole watch. I don't really know what else to do with it. Also, if you think that I could have taken it into the Apple store and got it replaced, please don't tell me because I have already purchased a new one. I really enjoyed that. So I asked for everyone's opinion on which one I should buy. I didn't want to get a series six because they're just ridiculously expensive. Like I just don't see that for myself. Completely fine if you have one, but I don't really want to spend my money on that. So I was choosing between getting another series three just because it's what I know, it's what I liked, just like the safe option or the SE, which is a newer version, a little bit more expensive, but it's faster. It has more updates on it. It's pretty much a series six, just cheaper and doesn't like test your blood oxygen or something weird which like, I don't want anyway. So I decided to go for the SE. Expensive but like mm. So I got the Apple Watch SE Space Grey Aluminium Case Black Sport Band in the 40 millimeter. Look how funny this whole box is just like a little watch. Like this is this is the watch. So that's the difference if you can see I would say a considerable difference like obviously two millimeters But so that's the difference the new one is on the right. So definitely smaller and the shapes a little bit different I like it. Oh It's turning on I didn't expect that. Use your iPhone to set up your Apple Watch. Your Apple Watch is paired. Restore from backup. This is incredible. Is it bad to take medication with coffee? Sure not. Anyway, now that I'm with that, do you want to see my renegade? Um, cool. My Apple Watch is sinking. We really love that. Okay, I'm going to go on and stop annoying you. That's all my update for today. Hopefully, I'm feeling a little bit better tomorrow and I can actually move from my bed. I want to kind of like tidy the house tomorrow. So like stay in my pajamas, stay comfortable, not work too hard. Just hopefully my body isn't too fatigued. Like hopefully I can get up and do things. I have so much washing to do. My room is just kind of a disaster. I am a disaster. I can't get over how red my nose is on this camera. Okay, bye. Hello friends, happy Saturday. I feel like the second half of this vlog has been very chatty, but it's just because I haven't been getting up too much. I'm just sick at home. So there's not really much to bring you along for, but I'm here to have another little chatty talk with you. <laughs> at the start of this vlog, I mentioned that I wanted to sit down and chat to you about my eight week challenge. And it is Saturday, it's <laughs> currently 10 p.m. And I actually just got home from our eight week challenge, like celebratory dinner. So my PT took us all out for dinner to celebrate the hard work that we put in for the last eight weeks. And he gave us back our bio scans that we did at the start and at the end of the challenge. So I kind of just wanted to sit down and chat how it went because I feel like this was a huge turning point for me mentally and physically. So firstly, if weight or weight loss or counting calories or even just me talking about weight is triggering for you, I would just skip this chat because I don't want to trigger or offend anyone. I know this isn't for everyone. I know it's such a touchy subject and I try my best to not talk about it too much, but it is such like a huge part of my life and it is one of the biggest changes that I'm trying to make in my life so I'm gonna sit down and chat about it for a little bit but I feel like I've been on my health and fitness journey for so long and this eight-week challenge is what gave me the extra push and finally I'm achieving results that I've been trying to achieve this whole time <laughs> firstly I chatted about this in a vlog I guess eight weeks ago it was at the start of the challenge um, and I was chatting about how when I did my first bio scan my weight was 17 kilos more than my at-home scale was telling me and I only really talked about that on my vlog because I was really struggling with it mentally even though it doesn't change anything But just like the number on the scale just changed in my head and it just like changed everything for me mentally I will just put a disclaimer out there I am an actual idiot and I was using my at-home scales on my bedroom floor on my carpet And then once I moved them to the bathroom on the tiles My bio scan was showing the same weight as my scales at home So it's not my scales because I'm stupid and I just never really thought that would like change things But I'm an idiot. We've learnt from then but 
but just seeing that my weight uh, was went up 17 kilos like it was such a slap in the face but it was exactly the slap in the face that I needed so our first weigh-in was done on the 14th of the 3rd and then my final weigh-in was done on the 6th of the 5th and within those eight weeks I lost 6.4 kilos which is kind of crazy I'm currently just over 10 kilos away from my goal weight I do have a large amount of muscle in me 33.7 kilos of muscle mass which is just kind of fun I kind of love that for me <laughs> I think the thing that really changed for me in this eight-week challenge is firstly the first thing you need to know about weight loss is that there is no other way of doing it except for being in a calorie deficit and I knew that this whole time but I was just never consistent and this eight-week challenge gave me like a period of time where I was going to be consistent because I had this final weigh-in scan to like work towards I feel like if I didn't have a final weigh-in I didn't have like a date to keep working towards or a goal to achieve by that time I just would have given up if I was just going about my everyday life like I have been I would just give up and I wouldn't be consistent and I really really stuck to this challenge and I have never hit my numbers so consistently I've never followed my workout so consistently I've never hit my steps every day for eight weeks straight like I really gave this my absolute all and I'm so proud of my Myself. and the thing is I was like a few weeks in and I was like I'm honestly loving this like I'm feeling fantastic I was noticing my body change so much and mentally I felt so strong because I was being so consistent and just like working so hard and like doing so well mentally it just made me feel so strong there was definitely some highs and some lows and I was in like a fairly big deficit so obviously that was hard at times I ate so much GYG because it was the only takeaway food that I could really fit into my macros easily so anytime I hung out with friends I was like can we please get GYG and my friends are kind enough to just say yes I honestly am so proud of myself and this challenge has just proven to me of what I'm actually capable of give me a couple few months and I'm gonna beat my goal weight and I'm just pumped to see where I go from there I know that like weight loss isn't everything and like it's not my main focus in life but it's really good to set a goal and achieve it in a healthy way and learning so much about my body and my mentality towards things and I've never felt more physically and mentally strong in my entire life. So I feel really, really good. But yeah, that's my scans. That's really fun, exciting stuff. I've been on a deload this week. Kind of sucky because I've just been in bed for most of the week and I haven't been tracking my food and I haven't been working out or walking, obviously. Really proud of myself and my efforts and I'm just excited to see what is next, honestly. This is really just the beginning. I feel on top of the world. I feel like the biggest difference though, like I, I cleaned out my wardrobe a couple weeks ago and all of my clothes are just fitting me differently and I look in the mirror and I'm just proud of myself and that is just the best like it is just so good I wore a denim skirt out to dinner tonight that I haven't been able to fit into ever I got it in one of my first Princess Polly videos and I remember barely being able to do it up to do the try on clip for it and then I literally have never worn it since and I tried it on when I was cleaning out my wardrobe and it fits me like a glove like it fits me perfectly and I wore it out to dinner tonight and one of the girls at dinner was like oh my gosh your skirt looks so great and I was like oh thank you it didn't fit me eight weeks ago <laughs> I just feel so confident and happy and I just feel like I'm in a really good spot I'm not like obsessed with anything I'm not I don't feel like I'm going over the top but I also have so many people around me making sure that I don't overall feeling really great eight week challenge went so incredibly well and I'm just keen to keep going but I'm gonna take my makeup off and head to bed as I said it's 10 p.m. so I'm gonna get to bed probably just have a sleep in tomorrow it's Sunday so I don't plan on working or getting up too much I cleaned the house today which feels really nice so I can kind of just lay in bed in my clean bed I wash my sheets everything's just fantastic I had a schnitzel for dinner with chips and mashed potato oh so good anyway that's my Saturday night update I will probably chat to you tomorrow